Tunisia might have been sent packing from the 2022 World Cup on Wednesday, but they made sure to exit the competition in a blaze of glory. Having opened up their campaign with a solid 0-0 draw against Denmark, the North African nation were left with everything to do when they suffered a 1-0 defeat to Australia next time out. The stars could still have aligned for them to reach the round of 16 in spite of their winless start, but the identity of their final opponents made everyone feel pretty sure that was unlikely, world champions France. And while, in the end, Tunisia were indeed sent home having fallen at the first hurdle, they didn't exactly exit Qatar 2022 in the way you might have imagined. That's because, remarkably, Tunisia kept up their end of the deal as they sensationally secured a 1-0 win over the holders courtesy of Wapi Katsuri's strike early in the second half. The only fly in the ointment was that Australia's 1-0 win over Denmark in the other Group D match played simultaneously meant that they were sent packing regardless of their triumph. However, the Tunisians could still feel incredibly proud of a stunning result that was almost yanked out of their hands at the death when it looked as though Antoine Griezmann had leveled the scores. The Atletico Madrid baller was lapping up the applause with a waddled dance celebration when the ever-watching eye of modern football's technology inevitably took a closer look at matters. And in one of the most protracted and controversial VAR decisions of the entire tournament, late blue last gas goal was chalked off and the Tunisian celebrations could get underway again. It was decreed that Griezmann's strike shouldn't stand as he was offside at the time Real Madrid's Aurelian Chouamini played his pass into the penalty area. Only, the controversy came from the fact that a Tunisia player attempted to clear the ball with a header in between Chouamini's pass and Griezmann finding the back of the net. So, be sure to draw your own conclusions from the dramatic moment that Tunisia's famous win was snatched away from them and then given back when nobody expected it down below. All this, and it happened within the final few seconds of both nations' final group game, chaos. As far as France are concerned, they still managed to top Group D in spite of VAR ruling out Griezmann's strike, finishing above Australia despite both having six points by way of having beaten the Socceroos 4-1 in their head-to-head -head clash. As such, the Gia Deschamps men will face the runners-up of Group C which contains Argentina, Poland, Mexico, and Saudi Arabia. Their final group matches take place on Wednesday night.